Hello, hello. So during the Nintendo Partner Showcase that was about 10 or so days ago, I saw a game that really piqued my interest, especially as someone who is a marine biologist and loves the ocean. So I wanted to dive into it and look through this video with you and kind of share my thoughts and my first impressions of this game, which is called Endless Luminous Ocean. Neat. Scuba diving and snorkeling is ooh, so much fun. Ah, look at the fish. Ah, mantas. I love manta rays. Endless ocean luminous. So I'm going to pause right here real quickly because I've heard that there's two others in the series. People are saying this is like Endless Ocean 3. Is that true? Because I really want to try the other ones if that is if that's the case. I think I would really enjoy them. A mysterious underwater world is yours to explore. Oh, dolphins. In an all new endless ocean game. Wow. Oh, oh, that shark is scary. Sea, a location known to very few people. Wow. This unexplored region changes with each dive. Oh, look at the different species! Arowanas. Wow. Up to 30 players online can plunge into the ocean. 30. 3 0. That's going to be amazing. I am stoked. I can't wait. Steps together. Share your discoveries with other divers. An ocean sunfish. And exchange a friendly oh, selfies. While freely exploring the vast oh, ocean. Oh my goodness. How cool is that? It looks like an orca and a whale shark. It there looks like you can customize. Sorry for keeping interrupting. Um, it looks like you can customize your diver and your dive suit too. That looks like a lot of fun. Side note, clownfish, tomato clowns. Love them. Over 500 different species of Spiny puffers. To encounter. Travallis. Blue whale. Some of them sperm whale, excuse me. thought to be extinct. Oh. And others may be mythical. Definitely down deep in the deep ocean. The Mesozoic. Look at that. Wow. Oh, remains. Find on your undersea journey. Endless Ocean Luminous launches on the Nintendo Switch system May 2nd. Pre-orders begin soon. today on Nintendo eShop. I think I might pre-order this because that looks phenomenal. And like, I'm going to just go go back a bit because I want to kind of like touch on some things that I think were really neat. Um, the fact that we can dive deep enough, like this area where there's no light, is very very deep ocean we're talking like goodness mesopelagic like pretty deep and i like that we can see like dinosaur well i guess you could consider this dinosaur right because they're supposedly extinct who knows for sure <laughs> but that we can explore extinct animals or even the smaller species look at this like this is a tiny uh, individual to large individuals, such as humpback whales. Trevally, I was right. So I was trying to name these off pretty quickly, but I think I actually had a decent idea. Powder blue tang, by the way, powder blue tangs do not do well with others of the same species. So like yellow tangs are pretty docile. Powder blue tangs, powder brown tangs do not do well with one another in like a typical um, home style tank. So like if you were to have a marine tank at home, don't mix tangs. They are most often same species aggressive. So like if you have powder blue and a yellow tang or powder blue and a powder brown, spe specifically the powder blues and browns, they're going to fight. Not a good idea. So that's a side tangent. But I like how you can even see like how some of these fish have, I would say seen better days, but have like scars and marks. And like this um i'm sure they didn't mean probably didn't mean to but maybe we'll have to see so like there is a disease and um a lot of tangs that that can occur it's called hlle so it stands for head lateral line erosion 
So this, if you would see this on one of your fish, you would notice that that's that head erosion and lateral line erosion. It's actually a disease that can kill fish. They can recover from it, but typically it's very, very difficult to get them to recover enough without a very specific diet. And I'm just like going off because I'm geeking. Like as a marine biologist, I absolutely love the ocean and I love learning about the ocean and I cannot wait for this game. Long spined porcupine fish. I've seen a couple of these. I used to work at an, a marine aquatic store and we had a few of them and they are so cute. But man, are they scary when they're like irritated? Tomato clown. Oh, whale sharks. Fun fact. I've actually, I used to live in Okinawa and I've seen a few of these in person at the, um, the aquarium that's there. It's the Chuda Umi Aquarium. It's beautiful. And they're absolutely stunning huge like gentle giants but they when i say huge they're just absolutely massive this game looks phenomenal like i wish i had more descriptive terms i'm just really really impressed and intrigued if there are other entries in this series please let me know in the comments because i will play them immediately a mysterious underwater world is yours wow. to explore in an all new endless ocean game. Welcome that shark looks very sea, intimidating. A location known to very few people. This unexplored wow. region changes with each dive. Look at the core. Oh. Also, this is a rare, a rare dolphin. I won't get into that one. Some tuna, tuna, excuse me. Looks like these are yellow fins, yellowback tunas. But look at this coral. Beautiful. It even got different types of coral. There's some here and here. Branching. Wow. Okay. Each dive. Yeah. Offering There's a lot of stuff just packed discover. in. Arowanas. Up to 30 players online can plunge into the ocean's depths together. Share your discoveries with other divers. And exchange a friendly How fun greeting while freely exploring the vast ocean. I cannot wait. There are over I'm so excited. Different species of marine life to encounter. Some of them are creatures thought to be extinct, and others may be mythical. And you know what's kind of on a side note, this is the last time I promise that I'll stop. Some of these animals you would never see free diving, like unless you got lucky. So the fact that people can play this game and experience what it may be like to dive, see these creatures and experience it is just magical. It really is. What will you find on your undersea journey? Wow. Um. Endless Ocean Luminous launches on the Nintendo Switch system May 2nd. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Like, I can't say it enough that I am going to play this game more than likely as soon as it launches. It looks phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Let me know what you think in the comments below because I can't be the only one excited for this, right? Like this game is stunning absolutely stunning we've we've just i need to know how you feel let me know in the comments below <laughs> until next time take care